New details tonight. In the Lisa Edwards case, the president of Covenant Health, the network that owns Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center, says he is very disappointed in how the situation was handled at the hospital. He spoke with our John Pierceos about that today. He says he expects better. Almost one month after Lisa Edwards' death, the president of Covenant Health condemned what he saw on the body cam video. I'm more than disappointed in the way that um, an individual was treated in terms of verbally. Edwards was arrested by KPD for trespassing at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center on February 5th. She refused to leave after she was discharged. I'm going to pass out. You're not going to pass out. Fort Sanders is investigating what happened. Our desire is to treat everybody with dignity and respect. And in that moment, some of the things I heard were not dignity and respect. So that's unacceptable to us, and I can assure you we're dealing with it. Jim Vandersteeg says the investigation is looking into clinical care, the role physicians played, and the security officer's behavior. I'm not having a Meanwhile, the family is searching for answers, too. I put a lot of fault on the security officers at that hospital. They said in, in, the, in that footage that they watched her walk into the hospital. That's a bald-faced lie. Because she was walking fine, they discharged her, and she was still walking no. fine. She just, now, now she's playing games. Edwards' daughter-in-law, August Boylan, says Edwards hasn't walked since suffering a stroke in 2019. She says the family is trying to get their hands on Edwards' discharge papers from Fort Sanders. I think at this point, the our best bet you know, in order to get what we need is going to be to use a lawyer. Boylan says the family just recently got authorization to talk to the team that treated Edwards at Fort Sanders, but says her medical records are with TBI. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. It's not clear at this point how long the Fort Sanders investigation should take. Meanwhile, KPD conducting its own internal investigation still. The four employees are still on paid leave while that is going on.